We are here at the Jensen home. Pleasant Prairie police arrived at the Jensen home December 3rd, 1998, finding Julie Jensen dead in bed. In this video documenting evidence in the home, the detective paid special attention to medications in the kitchen. In court Wednesday, a detective played that police video recounting that Julie had reported to police that Mark had been tormenting her about a brief affair years earlier that she'd had, and she said she was growing afraid of him. Julie was concerned that she would be, uh, uh, that she was going to be killed or poisoned, and so I was looking at this uh, openly. Uh, we didn't have any obvious sign on the body of any injury. Jensen was already convicted in this case, but won a new trial on appeal. Four months after Julie's death, officers sat down with Mark Jensen for an interview after learning he'd been having an affair at the time of Julie's death and lied to them about it. We need to come up with some type of explanation here, and you're the only one that can provide that explanation. Did you guys have an argument? Were you guys playing around? Uh, I don't know what happened. Uh, uh, you know, we, I have, she couldn't get out of Prosecutors also played a recorded jail phone call between Jensen and the woman he was having an affair with. It was just before his first homicide trial. She testified Wednesday. He talked on the phone about making money on the rights to his story. I just want to have some fun. Sell the books, sell the movie, move to Colorado or wherever we decide we want to live. That's going to be the question. Where do we want to live? Did you hear the defendant uh, make a comment to you about sell the book, sell the movie? Yes. And what is that about? Um, he talked about, you know, selling the, the rights to the situation that he's in with this case and making money off of it.